Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be installing Ubuntu on VMware Workstation for a up and coming lab that I'm gonna be setting up, configuring during this journey. First of all, I wanna say thank you and happy Thanksgiving if you are watching this today. And I'm super thankful for the love and support that I've gotten over the years for InfoSecPat and now my new journey, ISP Security, which is my pen testing firm. So if you need any pen testing, reach out to me and I can give you some information about that and yeah, all that good stuff and I can help you with whatever I can help you with. So let's get back to this video, right? So we're gonna be installing Ubuntu on VMware Workstation today and this is gonna be the Waza server and we'll get more into all that good stuff in further videos. So I'm gonna be installing three machines. Um, I'm gonna be installing Ubuntu, and I guess I can install, you know what? I want to install Kali Linux as well. Install for, so this is going to be the lab, right? So I want to have an Ubuntu server uh, or an Ubuntu box that's running Waza server. I want to install just a regular, another Linux box for a Linux agent. I want to install a Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on what, you know, a, a Windows client so I can have the Windows agent, and then I wanna have Kali Linux as my attack machine. Yes, I can use Exegol and all that, but that's, I'm just gonna make this lab as easy as possible and as easy to follow as possible. And here's like just the documentation if I ever have to use that to, for the setup. But in today's video, this is Waza, right? It's an open source security platform for SIM, EDR, threat hunting. It's super, super cool, but this video is not installing that today we're just going to be installing ubuntu so let's go ahead and get that started shall we so let's go to file new virtual machine and you can run this inside of your virtual box or vmware so i'm doing it within uh, vmware so i want to do typical here and i want to go ahead and that's my ubuntu iso so that's fine for me go ahead and click next i want to go ahead and put my full name so Patrick Gorman, that's fine. Username, I'm just gonna put Patrick and my fancy password. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on next here. And I wanna put Ubuntu dash Waza server, okay? Just so I know the difference between the Waza server, the Waza agent, the windows and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and if we come back for a second, let's just go to the documentation just for a second. I know this is not a Waza uh, video, but I wanna show you guys why I'm configuring it the way I'm configuring it. So in the documentation, in the quick start documentation for the requirements, let's make this a little bigger. The hardware the requirements depend on the number of protected endpoints and cloud workload. This is a very small lab. So if you come here, the agents, I'm gonna have less than 25 agents or 25 endpoints that I wanna be monitoring in my network. So I can do four virtual CPUs and eight gigs of RAM and a 50 gig drive. That's perfectly fine for me, right? But if you're saying, oh, maybe I wanna use this in production or use this in a lab environment that you exceed those 25 machines, go ahead and bump it up to the next one, to the 100 gigs, eight, eight, and et cetera, et cetera, right? You guys get the gist. So I wanna to stick to this configuration, four CPUs, eight gigs, and around 50 or 60 gigs of, of storage, okay? So let's just do 60 gigs just to be safe. And I wanna go ahead and configure my hardware. So if we come back here, remember it's eight gigs of RAM. I wanna do eight gigs. CPUs, I wanna do four because all we need is four for one to 25 agents, okay? And that should be good. So let's go ahead and click on close, finish. I'm not gonna power it up. The reason why I like to modify some stuff, I wanna throw this in, in the, the folder. As you can see here on the left-hand side, it just puts a whole bunch of extra stuff like a floppy and extra CD-ROM. So I wanna go ahead and remove this because I don't need resources that I'm not gonna utilize. So this one is pointing to the ISO. This one I don't need, right? And everything else should be good. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And now we can power, up, power on this virtual machine. Okay, you can head, I don't need, a, I don't care about that, that's just, a message that I don't really care about right now. 
So we can see here, try or install Ubuntu. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on enter here and let it do its thing. And if you wanna get out of here, you can just do the right control alt to get your mouse back. I wanna go ahead and make this larger and we'll wait a second for this thing to boot up. So once the image starts loading, you can see right here, it's gonna stop preparing and then show the welcome to Ubuntu. In my case, I'm gonna do English is fine for me. Go ahead and click on next. Go ahead and click on next here. English is good for me as well. I wanna use a wired connection. That's totally fine. We can do updates now, but I wanna go ahead and skip this for now, just so for the sake of the video and install Ubuntu. Go ahead and click on next, inactive installation or interactive, excuse me. Go ahead and click on next and we're gonna do default selection. That's totally fine for me. You can install all this stuff, but like I said, for right now, I wanna to try to make it as quickly as possible. I can always install those softwares later. So right here we have erase disk and install Ubuntu. That's fine for me because this is a brand new 60 gig uh, drive. Go ahead and click on next. I wanna go ahead and put my name in again, Patrick Gorman and my VM name. I'm just gonna do Waza server. That should be fine for me. My username, I wanna make it Patrick. And then my password. And then tab, tab, confirm the password. Okay, should be good. And let's go ahead and click on next. I'm in, I'm in this side of the world, so New York, New York is my time zone, perfectly fine. And go ahead and click install. So this will probably take around, I would say seven to 10 minutes. So it's 8.04 a.m. on Thanksgiving day. So again, happy Thanksgiving if you are watching this today. And if you're not watching it today, hopefully you had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're in the US, right? So let's let this cook and we'll resume once it gets back. Alrighty then, so that took, I think about 10 minutes to install. So let's go ahead and click on restart now. And once we restart, we can continue with the process. And you know, next we'll do the updates for uh, Ubuntu and then install VMware workstation tools. So we can go ahead and click on enter here to quote unquote, remove the media. Alrighty then, so now we are at our logon screen. So let's go ahead and log in with the credentials that you set up when you initially set it up. So let's go ahead and do that now. So my username is Patrick Gorman and my password is my fancy password. Okay, so now we'll log into our uh, workstation. So now let's go ahead and click on next here. We can go ahead and skip all this because I'm not gonna be installing Pro. We can go ahead and click on next, finished. I wanna go ahead and change my background just because there's a background I actually like. I like the dark theme in Ubuntu. And there is this background I really think is really cool, this green background. I don't know, that's just me, right? You can do whatever you want, but this is, this is what I like. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do, let's go ahead and open up. There's, there's a few things I like to do. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal and let's go ahead and make this bigger. Let's make this bigger. Okay, so first I wanna do sudo apt install and I wanna install Terminator. Terminator is a, let me just put this password. So Terminator is a, a terminal emulator that I really like. I just like the look of it, the feel of it. Um, and you'll see, you'll see it in a second once it's, this is installed. So let's go ahead and exit out of here and let's type in Terminator now. And this is what I enjoy. There's a few reasons, because I can just split it up. I can have two and whatever. I just like it. This is just my preference. You can do whatever you want. So the next thing I want to do is just do sudo apt update. Okay, and let's go ahead and update this. All right, so once this is done updating, we can go ahead and let's just go out to Google really quick. I know the command, but just in case you guys don't know, well, let's just go out to Google and we can just X out here. Let's go to Google 
and we can just put it's a simple command we can do uh, install VMware tools Ubuntu command line and it's the desktop version so once this comes up since we have the desktop version we can install desktop right here so sudo apt install open vm tools desktop so let's just copy that i always think it's just easier and let's paste it and once this is installed then we should get a better resolution because you see right now it's a, such a small window boom now we can get a you know a full screen everything is good now so now we can make this bigger and that's pretty much it now we'll reboot just to make sure everything is good and that's pretty much how you install Ubuntu in VMware Workstation or if you want to do it on your laptop or if you want to do it in VirtualBox, Proxmox, whatever virtualization platform or obviously if you're going to do it on your laptop or a desktop, you need to make your ISO into a bootable USB, plug that in, bop, bop, bop. So that's a little different. But, you know, if you're running it in a VM environment, this is how you do it. The next video I'm going to go ahead and install Windows and go ahead and, and I'm going to probably install another uh, Ubuntu off camera because you guys seen the process already. And then once we get into installing Waza, we can continue the process there. So again, happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe, stay secure and happy learning. Love you all. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.